So, good morning everyone. So, my name is Mark John Faderanan and I'm gonna be uh, talking or reporting about uh, the poem The Spouse by Luis Dato. So, uh, let's first read the poem uh, before we go into summary and uh, the elements of the poetry in the poem. The Spouse Rose in her hand and moist eyes, young with weeping. She stands upon the threshold of her house, fragrant with scent that wakens love from sleeping. She looks far down to where her husband plows, her hair disveiled in the night of passion, her warm limbs humid with the sacred strife. What may she know? but man and woman fashion out of the clay of wrath and sorrow life she hold no joys beyond the days tomorrow she finds no worlds beyond her love's embrace she looks upon the form behind the furrow who is her mind her motion time and space O oh, somber, mystery of eyes and speaking, O oh, dark enigma of life's love forlorn. The sphinx beside the river smiles with seeking, the secret answer since the world was born. In this poem, both the man and the woman experience difficulties. The man works hard to provide for the woman he loves. The woman, in turn, becomes overly reliant on his love. She depends on him so much that she becomes anxious and worried when he pays attention to other things or people besides her. So, uh, the first element is the imagery. So, the poem contains vivid sensory descriptions such as uh, rose in her hand, moist eyes, young with weeping, and fragrant with scent, and her hair, her hair disveiled. These images create a strong visual and emotional impact. Second is the speaker. The poem features a first-person speaker who reflects on a woman standing on a, a threshold of her house, contemplating her husband's labor in the fields. The speaker may be an observer or someone reflecting on their own experiences. So third is the themes, uh, love and passion. So the poem delves into the emotions of love and passion, describing the woman's appearance and her intimate, intimate relationship with her husband. So next is uh, life and existence. The poem contemplates the nature of life and existence, suggesting that the core of life is the between union, is the union between man and woman. Third is uh, mystery and enigma. The reference to the sphinx smiling with seeking this secret answer alludes to the enduring mysteries of uh, life and the universe. So next is symbolism. The rose in her hand may symbolize love, beauty, or the fleeting nature of life. The form behind the furrow represents the husband who is depicted as the embodiment of life's labor and creation. The Sphinx is a symbol of enigmatic riddles and quest for answers to profound questions. So next is metaphor. The poem uses metaphorical language to draw connections between the physical aspects of the woman or her husband's labor and the mysteries, mysteries of existence. For example, uh, what may she know but man and woman? Uh, or out of the clay wrath and sorrow life so this equates the act of love and creation to the essence of life next is uh, rhyme and rhythm so the poem features a consistent rhyme scheme with aa bb cc and ed pattern in each stanza the rhythm, rhythm is regular which contributes to the lyrical quality of the poem Next is tone. The tone of the poem is contemplative and somewhat melancholic as it ponders the profundity of life and love. Lastly, allusion. The reference to the Sphinx is an allusion to Greek mythology, suggesting that the mysteries of life and existence have been contemplated throughout the history. So, overall, the poem explores the 
interconnected interconnectedness of love, life, and enigmatic nature of existence, all conveyed through uh, rich imagery and metaphor. So that's all for my report. Thank you.